We've done the Einsliga, the Zweiliga, and now it's time for the Dreiliga, which could potentially be the best third tier in the world when it comes to stadiums. So, let's take a look. Erzgebird Stadion. After 90 or so years as a multi-purpose stadium, it was rightfully converted into a football-specific stadium a few years back. Not only does it boast modern amenities, but it now actually matches the club's colours, with a purple and white exterior and some purple and white seats. Unfortunately, the wooded hill in the background is mostly green, and purple and green should never be seen, as the old Nordic saying goes. Hans Walter Waldstadion. This old school multi purpose stadium has yet to transform into a football specific one, but it does have potential. That main stand looks quite interest. Hang on. There's a basketball court at each end. It really is multi purpose. Wow. The good thing about outdoor basketball is that every time you airball it, you can just blame it on a sudden gust of wind. For some reason, that excuse doesn't tend to work indoors. The same club also plays at Steigerwald Stadion. This is actually one of the more prominent athletics facilities in the country, so despite a major rebuild a few years back, the track remains. I'm gonna stop talking about running tracks, this is a football league, and for football, it does the job. Despite remaining as an athletics venue, they brought the stands much closer to the field than they were previously, which is always a good thing. In the shadow of one of Europe's most iconic stadiums is Stadion Rotter Erde. And I don't really sprechen die Deutsch, but that has to mean Red Earth Stadium, ja? It follows the formula that most German stadiums followed back in the day. One main covered stand, with the rest of the field being surrounded by open terracing. And this thing. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's cool. I think they also play the occasional game next door, as you would. Rudolf Harbig Stadion. Although there's been a stadium on this site for around 100 years, what you see today isn't a result of numerous renovations, but a completely new stadium was built on the same site. As you can see, the seats are a vibrant yellow. But interestingly, during international matches, the terracing is converted into red seats. Is that a nod to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Probably. Schauinsland Reisen Arena. This one features an interesting exterior. You can see that the concrete seating bowl and the overhanging roof are completely independent of one another. Kinda cool. The club gets the nickname the Zebras, so I was mildly disappointed that the interior didn't reflect that. Then I remember that there is already a stadium like that in South Africa. And my disappointment turned into delight because that South African stadium looks sh not great. Whereas this one looks excellent. Waldstadion under Kaiserlinde. Continuing our journey into the German language, Waldstadion means forest stadium. And this place certainly lives up to that name because it's surrounded by the Wald. A few years back, the stadium and presumably the Wald suffered damage from a hurricane. Honestly, I didn't know that Germany had hurricanes. The stadium is in tip top shape nowadays. I don't know about the Wald. Stadion under Hafenstrasse is almost exactly 10 years old at the time of recording, and it looks pretty much brand new still. It's not the most exciting design, quite uniform. But it does look good. They are planning to fill in the corners with seating to make it an enclosed stadium in the coming years. It also has the potential to expand further by adding some upper tiers if they ever were to be promoted. Dry some Stadion. The Black Forest Stadium may have been deserted by SC Freiburg's first team, but the seconds have stuck around. And I'm glad this stadium hasn't been demolished. Yes, it's a little antiquated. It also has some other issues, but it has character. And it's situated in a rather serene setting. Hang on, that forest isn't black at all. Oh wait, maybe it's named after the cake. Yeah, that's probably it. 
Loina Shema Stadion. From up here, it seems like a completely modern stadium, and it pretty much is. But there is some rather nice stonework outside. That's a remnant of a stadium that previously occupied the site. I'm glad they kept that. They aren't always so concerned with preserving the past. It's a nice clean and simple layout on the inside, not too shabby. Audi Sport Park. If you asked a random person on the street what Audi Sport Park was, they'd probably assume it was some fancy auto parking feature available in all new Audi models. It's not, but the stadium's design is vaguely reminiscent of an Audi. The metallic and glass exterior for one. There are also some bright lights, some seats. There could be some airbags, you don't know. It's basically a car. But no, I actually do like this stadium. Sportpark Hockenberg. It's a stadium that certainly gets a lot of use because it's not only used for football, there's an American football team that plays here as well, and even a bit of rugby from time to time. But despite this, it's still looking pristine. What I like most about it is that it doesn't even feel like it's located in the city. The backdrop is entirely made up of trees. Very tranquil. Carl Benz Stadion. Yes, that is Carl Benz, the famous automobile pioneer who put Mannheim on the map. And so they've named a stadium after him. It wasn't entirely non-commercial though. Mercedes-Benz did contribute some funds to get that name across the line. It's a solid stadium, but I find it a little odd that it has a pillar-supported roof, given that it was built in the mid-90s. That's not the cutting-edge engineering that Benz was known for. Hans Arena. Not long ago, when the club had yet to be promoted to the third tier, the stadium's amenities were quite rudimentary, even including some benches rather than proper bucket seats in some areas. But it has since been given a minor upgrade and is looking a lot better. Still, uncovered terracing makes up about half the capacity. Grunwalder Stadion. 1860 Munich used to play at Allianz Arena. So, this is undoubtedly a bit of a step down. But if you're a fan of terracing and not so fussed about modern amenities, this is the place for you. It is after all the oldest stadium in the league having opened in 1911. I do kinda like it though, especially that huge western terrace. Marshveg Stadion. I know what you're thinking, why is it in black and white? Well, this stadium is situated in a town called Oldenburg, where colour doesn't exist yet. You can tell just by looking at it that it used to be a completely uncovered horseshoe stadium. Until... Yeah! 2022, colour finally makes it to Oldenburg. Uh, until it received this grandstand. It's still quite old school and don't expect it to modernise anytime soon. They also play at Heinz von Heiden Arena which of course is also home to a local club that's a lot bigger. It is a great stadium, but I already talked about it in the two Bundesliga video. So yeah, it's had its time. Stadion under Bremer Brucker. It sort of just looks like this stadium fell from the sky onto the middle of a town square. I'd assume that's exactly what did happen. On the inside, the stadium is a blend of old and new. The old is demarcated by blue and red seats, the new by purple seats. And then there are some terraces at either end, as per usual. Ludwig Park Stadion. This is yet another example of a stadium that was recently transformed from a rather drab athletics football hybrid into a vibrant purpose-built football stadium. You can hardly tell that it wasn't completely built from scratch. And that's because only the upper tier of the northern stand and the floodlights weren't built from scratch. So it pretty much was built from scratch. Home Deluxe Arena. This is a quality stadium. There's nothing wrong with it in terms of its amenities, but they really could have done a bit more to jazz the place up. The exterior is quite dull, and the interior not that much more interesting. But like I said, there's certainly nothing wrong with it functionally. 
Some people's favourite ice cream flavour is vanilla after all. Britta Arena I love how not only is it sponsored by Britta, the household water filtration company, but the design sort of incorporates Britta's branding in a way that complements the overall aesthetic. There's even more of it on the inside. Perhaps too much. It's because the stadium is owned by Britta's parent company. Nobody wants their water to be bitter. Go to the store and grab yourself a Britta. Das ist Britta, das ist gut. They also own this channel. GGZ Arena, or GGZ Arena, whichever one they say in Germany. It's not just the title sponsor, but they also built the stadium. They've done a good job, although for the most part it's pretty standard, with a terrace at each end and seated stands along the sidelines. But there's a bit of a grass embankment in each corner. You don't see that too often, quite like it. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.